Hi, this is Mason, the how-to kid. And today, we're going to be installing an external voltage regulator on this 2000 Jeep Cherokee. The internal voltage regulator went out. And on this car, they put this in the computer. We're installing this so we don't have to get a whole new computer. And that's super expensive. The first step is to make sure that is the problem. We already have checked our alternator and battery, and they're both fine. You can take yours to any auto parts store and they can check for you. Okay, let's begin. Now, now we're going to pull out the battery. We've decided to mount it right here. Right here because it's close to the alternator and the battery. And because it has lots of ventilation right here. So let's pull out the battery tray. Pull out these three nuts. They're 15 millimeters. To disconnect this harness, you got to squeeze right here, then separate them. And now we're going to pull out the battery tray so we can run the wires underneath it. Now we're drilling out the holes for the regulator. Now I'm going to be, be bolting in the voltage regulator. Oopsie. So we're going to pull off the wiring harness on the back of the alternator right here. You just have to squeeze it and pull. <sighs> We're going to be cutting this, but leave plenty of room on both ends because we're going to be connecting wild wires on both ends. It doesn't matter um, which wire is which, so you don't need to keep track of that part. I got one, no, four, two. Now we're going to strip the backs of the wires. Ah, there we go. And we're going to crimp it with the red and the black wires that came in the wire loom that would be here and here. It doesn't matter which wire goes to which end. Before you do, don't forget your heat shrink. Uh-oh. <laughs> now do the heat shrink. <laughs> now let's plug it back into the alternator. He plugged it. That's taken care of down there. For the other two wires that are down there, we're going to put this little sucker in there. It comes with the pack. It fools the computer so it doesn't come up with the check engine light. But we'll do that later. We're we'll soldering it in. The loom goes all the way down to this third wire. And this red wire goes over to this relay where the power supply is, and you can see the wire going all the way out. And that's hooked up to 12 volt on power supply. The fuse panel on the passenger side of the dish. You don't want the, it running while the car's off, because that would drain your battery. That's a 12 volt power supply. You can tuck it in nicely, and wrap, wrap it around the dish. Dash through the firewall, and take it to your relay. We powered the relay off of this one here. This is a field replacement module, and it tricks the computer into thinking it's in charge of the alternator. We're going to solder this on because it doesn't have any easy connections. Wait a couple of minutes, then it's gonna be sorry. 
Uh, make sure you do this in a well ventilated area. He shrank it up. <laughs> okay, now let's do it to the other side. And on the other side. Now we're putting barrel connectors on them to make an easy connection to wires in the Jeep. So it's pretty much done. We're going to take it outside and install it. One more thing. This is going to get really hot. So you want to put it in a safe place with lots of ventilation. So let's finish this up. Now we're back outside and now we're going to mount this thing. I'm going to put the holes right next to the alternator in the body of the Jeep. It has plenty of room and plenty of ventilation here. Let's drill. We got it. Now we're going to screw it in. This is where the unit was drilled in. So we're going to connect these to the green wires here because these green wires there is what we already cut off. This is what's connected to the computer. Now we're going to be stripping this wire. Now it's all done. Now we just have to put everything back, including the battery. This has been Mason, the how-to kid. Thanks for watching. Remember, if I can do it, you can do it! Please subscribe to my channel below. Check out my website, masonthehowtokid.com. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. <laughs> Please check out my sister, Haley, the How To Girl. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> Don't forget to support your local childhood cancer foundation. I miss you, Riley.